first major injury crisis of the season has hit the Boston Red Sox, and it is John Lackey. And I'll tell you some of the guys that really need to step it up here if the Red Sox are going to make it through this crisis. So John Lackey, who worked so hard the last year and a half to come back from Tommy John elbow surgery, goes out in his first game and re-injures something in his pitching arm. Preliminary reports say it's a bicep strain. We don't know how severe it's going to be. We don't know how much time he may or may not miss. All those questions still remain to be answered. But in the meantime, the Red Sox are going to need somebody to step up and fill that void for Lackey as that number three starter. Now, I talked about all offseason how I felt the Red Sox needed to form a trio of pitchers that would make them dominant and effective as a team. And that included John Lester, Clay Buckholz, and John Lackey, who I felt was going to come back and have a very good season and have a shut up the media and fans kind of season and really be the kind of pitcher that he was at one time. Now Lackey's injured and all bets are off. We don't know exactly what's going to happen with Lackey from here on out. Hopefully he's not going to miss a lot of time. But if he does, to me the guy that really needs to step it up in this rotation is Ryan Dempster. Now Dempster's a guy I did not talk about a lot in the offseason. I thought the Red Sox acquired him, and it wasn't really a big acquisition. I mean, Dempster's a guy that's had several stops in the major leagues. He's a serviceable pitcher. He'll give you a lot of innings. He'll give you quality innings, probably more good than bad. But he's not a big winner. He'll probably be around a 500 pitcher. He wins just as many as he loses. But he's a veteran presence. He's a loose presence on the, on the team and in the clubhouse. But he really needs to go out there now and pitch like a number three starter. He's capable of it. There's no question about it. He has pretty good stuff. His first start against the Yankees was just so-so. Part of that might have been the fact he just doesn't pitch well against the Yankees, no matter what uniform he's in. Who knows? But Dempster needs to step it up here, because I don't have a lot of confidence in Alfredo Aceves. Now, Aceves is expected to be the guy that replaces Lackey in the rotation, at least in the short term. If Lackey misses a long period of time, that could change. You could bring up Alan Webster from Pawtucket. You could probably get Franklin Morales back in the rotation once he irons out his injury problems with his back. But for now, it's probably going to be a Seves, but I don't have a lot of confidence in a Seves. I mean, his first two appearances this year that he came in relief, he gave up home runs in each appearance, including that second appearance against the Blue Jays when he gave up a three-run homer to put that game out of reach for the Red Sox. So I'm not counting on a Seves to do very much. He has his moments where he's a good pitcher, but his attitude's been up and down the last couple of years. So to me, the Red Sox are going to have to rely on Ryan Dempster to be that number three starter, to join Lester and Buckholz, to be that solid three-starter team that gets the Red Sox through this season in good shape. So John Lackey being out is a big disappointment. I really hope he recovers quickly and comes back. But until we know all the answers in terms of MRIs and tests, we're not going to know that. Just know this, Ryan Dempster, the spotlight is pointing at you right now. So for you guys out there, as you look at the John Lackey injury, who do you say has to step it up the most for the Red Sox? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. And don't forget to check out my new blog at BosoxInjection.com.